Uh, Europe is, is still in, in turmoil from that perspective. And they don't, uh, they just don't get it. The politicians, when I spoke to them back then, I said, look, you have to consolidate the debt. They told me they just wanted to get the currency through first, and then they would do the debt secondly, because they didn't feel they had the popular uh, will of the people to vote for that. They said it would, oh, it would look like a bailout for, for the Greeks or whatever. So uh, they were supposed to do this in two phases. Of course, the first phase they put in, they never went back to the second. So this is, is most of really the problems that are behind the whole French elections and nationalistic issues that are issues rising. That are rising. <laughs> you see it in Greece, you see it in Spain. I was down in Barcelona. I mean, the same issues. It's always everywhere. And uh, I mean, even the Trump elections, this is a global trend. Uh, the politicians call it populist, but it's really basically the politicians have been doing nothing but lying to us since World War II. Every year they borrow more and more and more. They never pay anything back. So I don't know why they think that borrowing is somehow this, you know, can go on forever. And there's just no reform. 